There's so many scams in the world today, and it's my job to warn you about all these fraudulent schemes. They say you have to drink eight glasses of water a day. Nice try. Water has been around for over a billion years, and only now they're telling us it's important. Live, laugh, love. Now they're telling us to do three things. Can't do it all. That's way too much positivity. Pick one, live, forget the laugh. Maybe go on to the love. This one makes me laugh. A penny saved? Is a penny earned? A penny? Good luck buying your first home on your bag of pennies. Cash in all your empty beer bottles. They're 10 cents a pop. That's how you earn and save, baby. Are you getting fraudulent emails from the hydro company telling you your three months past due on your bill? Just place them on ignore mode. What's the worst that can happen? Oh, thanks a lot, 2020. Can't get a break these days. Oh, is Facebook telling you you have to do the push-up challenge? Well, I don't need Facebook to tell me how to stay in shape. Thank you. Oh, my back. Oh, my back. The dentist tells me that I need the floss at least once a day. No one's floss since 1972. The only time I am doing the floss is at my cousin's wedding. Never believe them when they say luck comes with hard work. I've been buying lottery tickets all my life just waiting for the big payday. No work at that. Listen first before you speak. This is completely inaccurate. Plus I've had my headphones cranked up for the last 10 years and I can't hear anything. So how am I supposed to listen to your ideas or thoughts on how to improve my life? Some guru told me that I need to be patient you want to be patient? You like waiting around for people as they live their life and you do nothing? Well, just be patient. Come on, be patient. Wait around. Just wait. Wait around. Forgive and forget. Both are incorrect. First of all, I spent hours and hours trying to memorize these lines. So forget about forgetting. Number two, forgiveness. Here's what I think about that. I vow revenge on everyone that's ever scorned me. If someone tells you a secret, it's your job to respect their wishes and don't say anything? How am I supposed to gossip about you then? How am I supposed to be the guy that gives them the inside scoop and tells them all about the privacy of your own life? Now you're stretching it, keeping secrets overrated. My grandma used to say, take a minute and breathe. Take a minute and breathe? How about taking every minute to breathe? That's how we live. But I'll wrap it up with the one I do believe in. Get some rest. This way you can sleep it off and you can dream about a life where all your problems have gone away. And then when you wake up, things are a disaster again. 